Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hermes Podcast. Today, we have episode 11, and we are going to be talking about everything. Welcome, everybody, to another brand new podcast. My name is Hermes, a.k.a. Luke. Socials are in the description below. Please consider following the Instagram and the X or Twitter account. Today, we are here to talk about a lot of different things, mainly two th- subjects, boxing and Call of Duty, um, but that's kind of it, actually, boxing and Call of Duty. So, if you like boxing and you like Call of Duty, this will be the podcast for you, um, but getting straight into it, um, as you all are probably very, very well aware, um, Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis and KSI versus Tommy Fury happened yesterday. And um, my opinion is we need to stop boxing, right? I don't, I, I, I don't mind that these YouTubers are boxing, right? Like, but we need to, we need to take it away from traditional boxing and call it what it is, celebrity boxing. Okay, that's it. We all know what it is. That it's there. That's it, right? It's celebrity boxing. Okay. Um, Jake Paul is not a professional boxer. Logan Paul is not a professional boxer. KSI is not a professional boxer. Dylan Dennis is not a professional boxer. Tommy Fury is done in his career, so he's not really a professional boxer anymore. But we really need to stop with these um, these boxing matches. Like they're just not fun, okay? Like it's a bit of it's a bit of uh, sorry, it's it is a bit of fun to watch, right? Don't get me wrong, it is a bit of fun to watch, but um, my god, the boxing is just terrible. Like I love KSI, right? He is um, definitely one of my top five YouTubers that I. I genuinely enjoy watching his content. I generally, I genuinely enjoy um, him as a person. I think he's a nice guy. He comes across as, you know, humble and, ge- or not humble, but like he comes across as a genuine. What you see is what you get, right? And I really, really, really appreciate that, especially because, you know, a lot of these YouTubers are just fake. They're just fake, Right. Um, yes, he wants to collect a bag. Yes, he wants to leave a legacy behind him and, and prove to people that, you know, I am that YouTuber who played FIFA and look at me now, I'm boxing, right? I get that. It's amazing. And I'm, I'm so proud of you, KSI. I'm so proud of you, right? Um, but to, to say you want to be a professional boxer and, you know, KSI is not saying world champion, but like, it's just not going to happen, right? And Jake Paul, how he's pushing this massive agenda of professional boxing. Mate, you're a YouTuber and a businessman. You're not a professional boxer. You're not going to be a world champion boxer, right? You, you don't have the time to commit to becoming a world champion boxer. The people you are competing against are um, washed up, their careers are finished, you're boxing athletes. Like, jump in the ring with uh, Floyd Mayweather. I mean, even Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather, and even that wasn't a great of a fight, but I reckon that was just more of a money grab for Floyd. He wasn't trying to prove a point. Uh, To him, that Logan Paul versus KSI fight meant, like, nothing. It was just like, give me the bag, and um, I don't really care. But... Like, hey Siri, who are some competitive professional boxers? Here's what I found. Hey Siri, who is the current boxing Uh champion? I found this on the web. Okay. Tyson Fury, right? Boxing champions. All right, so current... Boxing champions, Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. 
You've got Chris Billum Smith, Jai Arson Badao. You've got Arta Beterbiv, Dimitri Bivol, Canola Alvarez, Janabek Ali Minkuli, right? Like Terence Crawford. We're getting like real lightweight here, but um, like, where, where, why aren't these guys fighting? actual boxers okay they claim to be professional boxers and they jake sport paul especially claims to be a future world champion boxer but i just i don't see it i i, I really don't see it it's like you want to i get that you're only a year or two or three into your boxing career and you know you've still got a lot of training to go but you can't run a betting platform. You can't run a, 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 a like a boxing federation and a, a fighting federation to then try and also become a professional boxer. Like it just, it doesn't happen. It can't happen and it won't happen. Uh, I, I feel like these YouTubers need a bit of a reality check. Um, but don't get me wrong, like... I love what they're doing that, you know, they're, they're bringing light to a sport, but I think it's the fact that this sport is, you know, not, it's not, they're not professional fighters. I don't know how else to explain it, right? You don't, these guys make, next week they're making content videos, you know what I mean? They're not going back and training. They're not putting the blood, sweat and tears that these actual world-class boxers are doing. It's not their life. It's not their livelihood. They are doing what they are doing. They're making a lot of money doing it, uh, but it's just not. It's just not something that needs to happen. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, but, however, in saying that, um, the Logan Paul versus Dylan, Dylan Dennis fight was a literal actual joke. Um, Dylan, I saw on Twitter this morning, Dylan's still back to his bloody Twitter trolling antics and Photoshopping. Like, the kid's 12. I swear to God, he's a 12-year-old. Um, he's posting edited photos of him and Nina Agdal. Um, he's, like, he's just ridiculous. <laughs> he's, just, he's a fucking meme. That's what he is. He's a fucking meme in himself. Uh, the fight with Logan Paul was absolutely dreadful. Um... Logan did all right, I guess. Dylan did nothing. Um, there, there's that meme that going around that Dylan Dennis um, uh, punched the security guards more than they punched. Um, he actually punched three punches at Logan Paul. Uh, but again, the whole thing is to just get a bag. And I'm going to introduce my assistant, Siri, here, and she's going to tell me what she thinks of the fight. Hey, Siri, what did you think of Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis? I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? See what I mean? Even Siri doesn't have an answer for that shit fight. Um, it was, it wasn't a real boxing fight. It wasn't um, anything great. Like, it, how do how do you explain it in a way that is like you have two people who have a lot to gain by making a lot of money, rocking up to a fight, Twitter pay for impressions and views these days and logan paul has a drinking company a drink company that will be able to profit dramatically from a fight so please tell me how <laughs> that's why i don't like this fighting stuff like uh it's entertaining but that's about as far as it goes yeah the fight other than that was crap dylan did nothing right i i, I like i watched i watched bits i didn't watch all of it but i watched like, i'd say a majority of it logan got off a few good punches dylan i think got off like one maybe two good punches um but Dylan just looked like he was scared, man. Every I feel like he was just trying to do the jujitsu stuff and the MMA stuff. He was, I don't know if he was doing it deliberately or anything like that, but the guy just doesn't, didn't seem like he knew what he was doing. Plus, the night before, the man was out till like 1 a.m. apparently, and that's probably what time he just left the club. Like the man, the man was out to 1 a.m. I mean, 
tell me you you don't give a fuck about a fight without telling me you don't give a fuck about a fight. Um, he did he he did nothing. It showed he did nothing. I think he even put a tweet out saying that he had no coach and no like trainer or anything like that. The man just went to the gym and learned to box himself. This was literally all a money grab. And this is why it does nothing to the sport because people pay good money, like 60 bucks, which is like a hundred bucks Australian, right? To go and watch a fight. And, um, they, it, it's not a fight. It's just a clown. It's just a money grabbing cesspool of fucking losers who are trying to make money. And it's people like Logan Paul who can go, oh yeah, I knocked out Dylan Dennis. But like at the end of the day, Dylan Dennis barely fucking wasn't even in belly in the ring. You could have just air boxed or shadow boxed and you would have done, that would have been a more entertaining fight. And like Logan Paul fighting, um, uh, who was it? Uh, Floyd. Like, do you really think Floyd, the best boxer in the world, couldn't beat Logan Paul in a fight? Like, I mean, it's just all fun and games. It's all, it's celebrity boxing. That's what it should be called. It should have its own thing. They should call it celebrity boxing to differentiate themselves from traditional boxing and leave the sport alone. Like, it's all fun and games. Maybe have your own celebrity boxing world champion and you can fight anyone who you want to fight. You can fight bloody... Go and fight Trump fucking next week. Like, I don't give a fuck. But it's just not great. And case in point, the Logan Paul fight was pretty crappy, to be entirely honest with you. Um, and Dylan did nothing and he deserved to lose. I mean, he didn't even lose. He got disqualified. Uh, I saw Drake put a $850,000 bet on um, Logan Paul to get a knockout. Um, and his prize pool was like $1,350,000, which is not fucking bad if you ask me. Um, and uh, because Dylan was disqualified, according to whatever sporting platform that they bet on, um, it's actually classified as a knockout. Um, so... Yeah, man's just got $1.3 million richer um, all because Dylan was a fucking clown. And Conor McGregor getting involved in all this as well, it's just like he's done. His career is done. Him staying active in the industry now is just for like fucking shits and giggles and because that's what brought him to what he is today. Like he was a professional fighter. But I don't see Conor McGregor ever stepping in the ring with boxing gloves. Like he's not a boxer. Dylan Dennis was not a boxer either. Like, so I, I don't understand what these guys are doing and I don't understand why this needs to be classified as a genuine sport. Like, it, okay, it is a genuine sport, but it doesn't need to be classified as boxing. It needs to be celebrity boxing. But anyway, aside from the Dylan Dennis absolute shambles of a fucking boxing match, the guy collected a bag though, apparently. So hopefully he's, he's all right from that. Um, then we move on to KSI and Tyson Fury. FYI, I really wanted Logan Paul to knock the fuck Dylan Dennis out. I think Dylan Dennis is a fucking animal. He's a he's a troll. He's a he's a disgusting, misogynizing, sexist f- fucking loser. Um, and I don't think he should have deserved to get paid for that fight. I know you. I understand you got a lot of eyeballs on it, but I really don't think he deserved any money from that fight. Anyway. On to KSI versus a Tommy Fury. Um, yeah, what can I say about that? That KSI to me has a very funny uh, boxing technique. Um, he's very uh, jumpy and um, very. He, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the. Um, I don't understand uh, KSI's uh, boxing technique. Uh, it seems very confusing. It it seems very um, almost like he's dancing, right? It's so, and and he grapples a lot. Like he he holds on a lot. Like I get he's probably not the fittest, right? And and again, he's there for a show. He's there to try and um, 
make a legacy for himself, I guess you could say, right? He's there to um, grow a brand and, and, you know, show people that I can box and look at me. I was a nerd playing video games. Now I'm a, a, a real fighter. So I get that. I really, really, really do get that. But I don't know. He hasn't really, he hasn't changed his boxing technique up too much, right? He stands very side on. He puts like, he, he generally like, he'll either come from the back and like swing. You can't see this, but, um, cause he's side on, um, he'll come from the back for like a roundhouse or like, I don't know what the fucking punch is, but it's not really a jab. And then if he goes for a jab, he generally has his arm in front of him. And instead of throwing, he kind of lunges and steps into it. Whereas if you see Tommy Fury fight, like, I mean, he is a proper fighter. He's a lot more well-balanced. He's a lot more in your face. He's got better technique. He's definitely a bigger bloke. Um, and has just all round has better technique. Like, look... I don't, do I think KSI should have won? Probably in, based on a technicality, he, he hit more punches. So look, he probably, probably should have won, right? Um, but do I think Tommy Fury is the better fighter? 110%. I mean, you're crazy. You're crazy to think otherwise. He, like, He's got better technique. He's got better form. He's got better stance. He's just like, he's better all around. And, um, like he's like, he did, he, he didn't deserve to win, but should he have won? Yeah. hundred percent. He should have won. That's just how it is. Like KSI is just dancing all over the place. And it's just, it wasn't, uh, it was a more entertaining fight than, Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul, um, mainly because they both just wanted to fight and Dylan Dennis is literally just a fucking clown. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just an, it was just an interesting, it's, it's an interesting events, man. These boxing events suck. Like I, I said it 10 times in this fucking podcast. It's just, they suck, right? They're not fun. They're not entertaining. They're entertaining in a way, but like they're not sports entertaining or boxing entertaining their celebrity entertainment look at these two famous people fighting each other um and the whole fighting fighters like ex fighters or stuff like that it's just i don't know if jake paul ever decides to fight a current real boxer that will be the day that i say yes you are officially a boxer um, and to be honest with you, the one real boxer he's fought, which was, um, Tommy Fury, he lost against him. So like come up with any excuses you want. Like, I know this is all a massive ego boost for these guys, but they always have excuses of why they lose. Um, at the end of the day, you're, if you're a boxer, you're going to lose. You're going to verse people that are going to be better than you, but you go back, you train and you verse them again, or you fight them again. You don't bitch and moan. Oh, I was sick. Oh, I didn't sleep. Oh, I fucking locked my keys in my car so I couldn't get here on time. Like they they come up with all these excuses because they're doing this for an ego boost, which is why they're not fighting real fighters. They're fighting washed up retirees um, who are done. They're fucking old too. They're old people. Um, and it's a, it's a, it's a boost for them. It's an ego boost, but at least the Tommy Fury and KSI fight was better. Um, it was more interesting. Um, Tyson seemed very frustrated throughout the whole fight, uh, just cause KSI kept holding on to him and grabbing him. Um, and it, it like KSI just burns so much energy bouncing up and down all game. Like I get he's probably a lot of what he was doing was fitness, but like, man, you waste so much energy. You can't put all that effort into punches if you're jumping up and down all day. So anyway, that's, um, my two cents on the boxing. It, it doesn't, it needs to just be rebranded to celebrity boxing and that's it. Just call it what it is. Celebrity boxing. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say on it. Um, last thing to talk about today is the wonderful world of gaming. 
and that would be um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the beta. So the beta has come and I think it might be going for a little bit longer, but it's basically uh, today maybe come and gone pretty much. Um, I, I played, I sunk it quite a few hours into it. Um, by quite a few, I mean, probably three hours. I put three hours into the, uh, into the beta and it's a fucking good game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, baby. Um, so I haven't played, I think I told you the last time I played Call of Duty, it was like, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, haven't played it for about three or four years. Um, if not longer, I bought uh, Black Ops Cold War and I bought something else. Um, but anyway, um, I haven't played it in a long time, but this Call of Duty, man, it feels good. It feels like they've gone back to the, the old days and, uh, like the maps are good. We know that the maps were going to be good. The gameplay looked quick and playing it, it's quick, man. It is quick. The sniping feels good. The time to kill feels good. The AR, the shooting, it feels good. A few glitches from the beta, but I can't... <laughs> Criticizing a beta is, is hard to do, right? Like, because it's a beta. It's not the original game, right? Like, trying to change classes, um, trying to customize your gun during the game um, caused your gun to go invisible. It was a great bug. What's a great bug? You could still play. You just had no gun on your screen and you couldn't zoom in or anything like that. But it was good. It was good. It was funny. Um, I actually have a few clips that I might post to uh, the X. Um, but, yeah, it's it was really good, man. It was really good. It flowed really well. Um, the movement was really quick. It was really quick. It was really good. And I liked it. I liked it. Um, the th shotguns needed probably a little bit of a bump in, in, um, damage. Like if you got in someone's face with a shotgun, um, you'd one tap them. But like, as soon as you were probably like more than two meters away from them, um, there was no hope of you getting, getting a kill. Like it's two. If, um, sometimes I had to three tap people with a shotgun to get a kill. Um, so shotguns were my only, oh, and marksman rifles. Man, the marksman rifles are so shit. Holy fuck. Marksman rifles and shotguns, horrible. The worst um, I've ever had. And I, 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 I quite enjoy a marksman rifle, right? You got a longer map um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's still got a lot of corners and, and bends and there's a lot of under, there's a lot of cover, right? A marksman rifle is that perfect, um, that perfect surround, um, of you can, you know, high damage, long, long distance, and you can still one tap people if you get them in the head, right? Couple, two, three shots. If you're in the, two, I reckon two shots max, maybe three if you, if you body shot them only, right? But one shot headshot, you know, if you go torso and chest two, if you go torso, torso, torso three, and, you know, legs, you know, the damage falls off. But they were horrible. Um, and the way that they unlock, you really need, with marksman rifles, you really need to unlock a red dot sight or some sort of scope. I don't even care if it's like a, um, a zoom scope, like a three times scope, but you really need to unlock some sort of scope for the marksman rifles. Like first attachment off the bat needs to be, um, a marksman rifle. Like there's just, that's it. You can't have it any other way, unfortunately. Um, but it was good. It felt good. The game was really solid. The ARs are great. Um, the sniping feels really good. I'm, I'm still trying. So I'm currently running, um, a PlayStation 4 controller, on a PC. That that's how I'm I'm playing Call of Duty. Um and I don't know if it's a time delay. I don't know if it's what it is because like my 
controller doesn't connect via Bluetooth. Like it connects via Bluetooth, but I have to have it plugged in to use it um, for some weird reason. And I don't know, I feel like it's the, the hit detection's a bit off or something's off with it, right? But anyway, um, it's not the most ideal setup, but it works, it's good, right? And if you're watching this, listening to the podcast on YouTube, um, it yeah, it's over gameplay. So you'll see the gameplay. But it was it was really fun, man. I, I thoroughly enjoyed playing it. Um, I actually felt like it was the good old days. Um, and I know that's probably not what Call of Duty is going for. Maybe a little bit, but like it actually felt like the good old days. But everything was modern and current and, you know, everything just felt good and it felt like how Call of Duty should, right? Um, did notice a little bit of camping towards the end of the, like Sunday yesterday, basically in the evening. Uh, I did notice a little bit of camping um, in a couple of the matches. I wonder if the faster gameplay is going to cause people to sit in corners and just wait for people to bunny hop in front of them and then shoot them. Did notice that a little bit. Um, the maps in the beta did get a little bit stale. Um, none of them were like, oh, High Rise is pretty good and Rust is pretty good, but that was kind of it. I don't like Favela too much and I don't like Estate too much. They're probably my least favorite maps. Um, well, other than that, it was, um, oh man, it was good. I loved the beta this year. It was it was a, a very solid beta um, and I'm looking forward to the game. I was like, I don't know, for some reason my beta code didn't work, so I ended up buying it um, and I was just going to refund it once the beta was over. Um, but man, it felt good. It felt real good. Um, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm actually going to keep it. Uh, it was a really good game. I enjoyed it. And um, I'm looking forward to how it, what it releases when it comes out. Definitely need a buff in the shotguns and a buff in the marksman rifles. Um, but no, other than that, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was it was it was a really good beta. It's it's hyping up to be a really good game, and I'm I'm genuinely looking forward to playing Call of Duty. I've got my multiplayer game, so I've been I've been looking for a multiplayer game, a single player game, and a battle royale. Fortnite probably for the forever will be my battle royale. That's just what it's going to be. Um, I was hoping X Defiant was going to be my multiplayer, um, but they it took way too long to come out. Um, in my opinion, I'm not even going to bother with that game anymore. Um, I probably might download it when it comes out, maybe play it for a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a couple of content videos a week. You know, um, I do the podcast on a Monday. On a Friday, I might do like a video with like either a live commentary or like a, a voiceover commentary. Um, but... Yeah, aside from that, um, I don't know, X Defiant just wasn't it. Uh, I think I'm going to get a PS5 when play when Spider-Man comes out and that'll be my, my single player game, well, for the meantime. Campaign, obviously, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, there's a campaign. So I can I can do that on for Call of Duty till that, or yeah, I think November 10th it comes out. I can't remember. Anyway, so... We got some good games coming out, but unfortunately, X Defiant. As much as I love that game, it was not. No. Call of Duty's me, baby. Call of Duty's me. Bring back the OG, baby. Um, that's kind of it. Yeah. Um, it was a good week. A really good week. Um, I'm looking forward to everything. Uh, at the moment, everything's good. Everything's really good. The um, gaming's good. Uh, Fortnite good call of duty very good um boxing bad celebrity boxing good um and yeah that's kind of it um thank you everybody for listening or watching depending on what platform you are on if you enjoyed it or you want to see anything specific please leave a like or comment and i will see you on the next podcast bye